guys, it is Natural Nadine here and I'm back with another video. Today's video is gonna be the science behind the popular hair care brand Olaplex and is it safe to use on our black hair. Before we get into this video, just a quick disclaimer and a little bit about my background. I am a chemical engineer, I have studied chemistry, both cosmetic chemistry and obviously large scale industrial chemistry. On top of that, I have worked for consumer goods companies. I currently work for one of the largest consumer goods companies in the world, I won't name the company. I have worked in research and development for hair care formulations on brands such as Tresemme, Head and Shoulders, Dove, without giving away too much information on what I've worked on. So I am very, very well versed in terms of formulations and hair care in general, as well as my science background. This all ties in together, which is exactly why I wanted to make this video because I'm such a science nerd. I love everything science and I don't believe anything anybody tells me unless you're gonna prove it with science, okay? The oh, another quick disclaimer that I'm just gonna put out there, this video is not sponsored. Without, without me rambling on guys, let's get straight into the video. What is Olaplex? For those of you who don't know, Olaplex is a hair care brand that has marketed their entire hair care line on bond building. Their technology has a patented ingredient, this amino propyl diglycol dimaliate. We're gonna call it bad for sure, okay? bad. <laughs> their products contain this patented ingredient that this is the chemical structure of their patented ingredient. Looks like it's a synthetic protein that they synthesize. When something is synthetic it means that it's made basically. It's not something that is naturally occurring. So they synthesize this ingredient in their labs to be this specific way and that's how they formulate their products with it. So now that we've spoke about their patented ingredient, how does Olaplex claim to help the hair? Olaplex has marketed itself really well for damaged hair types and also for healthy hair types as a present preventative measure. So if we have a look at the structure of the hair, so first we have the cuticle which is the protective outer layer. Everybody knows what the cuticle is, I'm pretty sure we are very well versed with cuticles by now. The next layer inside our hair is the cortex. The cortex is what's responsible for giving our hair its strength, its elasticity, its color. And after the cortex, we have the protofibril. This protofibril is what gives its hair its internal structural support, which is really, really key. This protofibril is basically the glue that holds our hair together, basically. This is the area of the hair that the patented ingredient bad tackles. I say tackles, I don't know if that's the correct word to say. In this protofibril, we have numerous bonds, hydrogen bonds, disulfide bonds. Disulfide bonds are the strongest bonds that we have in our hair. These disulfide bonds can become broken by a number of reasons. They can become broken by heat, relaxers, mechanical damage, being like tying your hair up, brushing it too hard, that type of stuff. There are so many things that can damage this protofibril. Sometimes the damage you have to the protofibril isn't even visible. So it's always good to just make sure that you are maintaining its health, even if you don't have any visible damage to your hair. Let's take a further deep down into this protofibril. In this protofibril, you will see that there are so there are numerous bonds. Hydrogen bonds, disulfide bonds. These disulfide bonds are what gives its hair Give, gives our hair its structure, its stability, and these bonds are also the strongest bonds that we actually have in our hair. Hydrogen bonds can be temporarily broken and they can mend themselves pretty easily, but these disulfide bonds, once they're broken, they tend to remain broken and they also form an unstable sulfate group, which makes your hair even more prone to damage. This is just a generic structure of somebody's hair. For me personally, I wanna know what how this works on specifically black hair. So let's take a look at what the structure of a kinky or coily haired person looks like. And as you can see from the structure of someone with kinky and coily hair, they have way more disulfide bonds than somebody who has straight hair or than somebody who has wavy hair. And the reason is because these curls that we have and these coils that we have are held together by these disulfide bonds. It's what maintains our curl structure. So actually, when these break, we can be more prone to permanent damage, visible damage, heat damage, all the types of damage. <laughs> There are numerous places that this damage can occur in our hair because we have that many disulfide bonds. It's a gift and a curse. A few of the symptoms of broken disulfide bonds include excessive frizz, really dry hair, brittle hair, visible breakage, and of course, split ends. And so where does Olaplex come in within this? Going back to Olaplex's patented ingredient, bad. Let's imagine that for whatever reason, 
these disulfide bonds in your hair have become broken. Let's say you straightened your hair. They aren't able to mend themselves naturally. Once they're gone, they're gone, which is why usually if you have heat damage, you have to just cut that off. What Olaplex's patented ingredient, BAD, claims to do is repair these disulfide bonds by joining together the two sulfate groups that were separated initially by the heat or the damage. Now, this is something that is kind of revolutionary, really, because there's nothing on the market that has this same level of efficacy in terms of joining the bonds back together and that's exactly why they call it a bond building treatment. So Olaplex actually repairs hair from the inside out. That's not to say that Olaplex can repair your hair to perfect condition or what it was before. It does mean that it is proven to actually prevent and mend damage better than anything else that is actually on the market right now. So as a long story short, these two ends of these sulfur bonds are joined back together by this bad and this bad. Now, one thing that I should mention that when this bad ingredient joins the two bonds back together, it forms an artificial bond. Your disulfide bonds don't magically joined back together. They are now bound together by an artificial bond that is this Olaplex product. It's difficult to tell how long that bond will last, but if you're continuously using the treatment, then you kind of don't really have, have to worry about that. Now that we've talked a bit about the, all the science jargon of Olaplex, what do I actually think? I honestly think as a black person, you could benefit a lot from implementing Olaplex into your routine. A really good starter I like to use is the moisture mask. It's a large tub and you can just use it little and often because I know this is a very expensive brand. So this moisture mask large tub, I think it's 250 milliliters, which doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're only using one pump that will last you a really long time, just to kind of get you into the swing of it. So how do you know which Olaplex to start using? Let's go in order. Start with Olaplex number zero. This actually has the highest concentration of their patented ingredient bad. So if you have extremely damaged, relaxed, permed, chemically treated, bleached hair, I would recommend that you try and implement this just as a reparative measure. Then we have Olaplex number one. Olaplex number one has also got a high concentration of their patented ingredient. Now this tends to be used mixed in with bleaches, toners, colors, to just help prevent any kind of damage whilst you're actually in the treating process. So if you do decide to color treat your hair, or bleach it, or tone it, or whatever it is that you're doing to your hair, try mixing in a little bit of Olaplex number one, as a, prevent as a preventative measure to damage. Now let's talk about Olaplex number three, which is the hair perfector, which just so happens to be, I feel like this is pretty much everybody's favorite. As much as the hair perfector is really good at preventing damage, I honestly think there are better products out there if you want to see immediate results for preventing damage. I would recommend you use the hair perfector as a preventative or just like a maintenance type of thing. You apply the hair perfector, do 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 do, you know, you do your wash day, put some hair perfector on, just to get your hair to maintain its strength. I personally didn't see that much impact in terms of my, my curls bouncing back when I used the number three hair perfector. Then we obviously have number four and five, which are the bond maintenance shampoos and conditioners. Now, the shampoo does contain sulfate, so if you are somebody who wants to stay clear of sulfates, you don't have to do this. You don't have to, you don't have to implement this. And the conditioner also contains silicone, so if you are a curly girl who stays away from sulfates and silicones, then you might want to stay clear of these, of the shampoo and the conditioner. The, the conditioner does claim to have low silicone, so I don't think it's an excessive amount of silicone that would cause buildup or that would cause you to worry about buildup. So, I mean, up to you. I want to talk to you guys about my, my personal favorite Olaplex is number eight, the moisture mask. If you've never used a banging deep conditioner before, that number eight is gonna show you some things, okay? You're gonna feel moisture with that number eight. So if you are struggling from really, really dry hair, honestly reach for number eight before you reach for number three, before you reach for number two, before you reach for number one, reach for number eight, okay? That moisture mask is exactly what you need. If you are struggling with dry hair and you really want Olaplex to one, do its bond building thing, and two, add moisture into your hair as well. Fantastic option, especially for us dry headed girls, okay? Our hair can tend to get a little bit dry. We can be prone to dryness, okay? There's no shame in our game. It's just how our hair is sometimes. I honestly don't think you need to implement the entire Olaplex range into your hair routine. That's not what I'm saying, but I am saying that there definitely can be benefits to implementing Olaplex into your hair routine. And I, I, on, I use Olaplex on every single wash day now, and I have definitely seen a difference in my length retention. I don't know if my subscribers can tell, 
Um, those of you that have watched my previous videos, my hair looks like it's growing faster, but it's definitely growing at the same rate. But I can tell that I'm just retaining a lot more length. So for me, number eight is a must have, and the moisture mask, the bigger bottle, is a must have. The shampoo and conditioner, I've used the shampoo and conditioner before. Would I repurchase for 20 pounds? No. They have also recently come out with another one. Oh my gosh, this brand wants to take all of my coins. They've recently come out with a silicone free serum, which whew, if you're a straight haired natural or if you straighten your hair, if you do silk presses, you know, let me know. If you've ever done, if you want to use that, use that and let me know how it is. I think I'm definitely going to use that on my next, um, on my next silk press. I'm going to add this in because I know a lot of people are going to be asking about, they heard claims that Olaplex causes infertility, causes cancer, it causes something. All I'm going to say is I'm not even going to address that. I just think that one, it was an ingredient that may be slightly linked to infertility as in it wasn't even proved it was just a speculation and i think in the world of science you know not to take these things seriously anything and everything can cause cancer anything and everything if you look close enough can do you harm and on top of that that particular ingredient was literally less than one percent of the entire formulation and was part of their fragrance and i saw people having outrage and saying oh my god they're hiding it as a fragrance and this and that like guys i promise you olaplex does not have the time to sit there and hide things in their fragrances okay do what you want to do but i'm just personally saying i'm not cancelling olaplex and if you guys decide you want to cancel olaplex please send me your unused bottles to my PO box, okay? I'm gonna have my PO box linked in the description for anybody who decided to cancel this round and already had their bottles. Send them my way, okay? A girl is in need. It's like when everybody stopped, everybody said they didn't wanna use deodorant with aluminium in it anymore and I actually worked on a project for again, Dove, Shaw or Rexona, if, if it's called Rexona where you're from. What else did I work? Link, basically all those brands when I worked on the formulations of those and people didn't want aluminium in their deodorant anymore because they were like, ah, it causes cancer, which it doesn't. Change the entire formulation of the deodorant. Now people saying, oh, these deodorants don't work. It's because of the aluminium. Y'all didn't want the cancer. I think that's just one little funny anecdote of like people having outrage about things that they literally have no idea on. Like, don't be scared to use Olaplex because of what you think you've heard. Um, Cause it certainly isn't that. And they wouldn't have gotten away with selling a product that causes infertility in this day and age, guys. This is a big brand, you know, if people knew how much testing it actually takes to get things like FDA approval, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even be, you wouldn't even be questioning. <laughs> you wouldn't even be questioning that type of stuff. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, then definitely drop them below. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching.